Hello, Rob here with Relaxing Sounds. I just wanted to make a video. I've seen a lot of videos out there that uh, are talking about distal bicep repairs. I recently had a, a distal, distal bicep rupture myself recently. Um, it happened about the 5th of last month, which was uh, September 5th. Um, went to the doctor a few times, getting x-rays and all that. Um, and they told me that I would have to go get checked for an MRI to make sure that it wasn't just a partial tear. They said that would more than likely heal on its own. Uh, went for the, the MRI and it ended up being a complete tear. It snapped completely off the bone. Uh, so they ended up having to go in and put a screw in to reattach the bicep muscle. And they did that on, uh, I believe it was 12 days after I did the initial rupture. Um, but it's, it's put me out of work, you know, obviously for uh, reasons of not being able to lift anything for a while. Um, I'm a massage therapist by trade and I'm also an underground miner, so I'm all time lifting on heavy things. Um, I've lifted pretty much my whole life. I, I started lifting weights when I was about 17. Um, I don't, I don't compete in powerlifting or anything like that. I just do it for me, just for my own peace of mind. Uh, really stress for me. Um, but I did not rupture the, the bicep lifting. I was actually uh, popping someone's back, <laughs> believe it or not. You know, you get them in the bear hug, you bring them up and you give them a little shake. Well, when I gave the little shake, I felt three deep pops in my elbow. And when I looked at my arm, I had a big flat spot right here. And I was like, oh, that don't look right. <laughs> I need to go get looked at. Um, but long story short, um, I had surgery on the 18th. And today is the 10th. So I'm about three weeks out. Um, the first couple of days, um, I couldn't, I couldn't hardly move my arm at all. It was so stiff and sore and swollen. Um, I couldn't rotate my wrist whatsoever. Um, I still have some wrist pain down in here. Um, when I first had the surgery, my whole forearm just from here to here was completely numb. And it's still numb just a little bit, but it's starting to come back now. Um, it just feels kind of like a burn, like a sunburn. Um, I guess that's where they cut into the nerve and it gave a little bit of uh, irritation there. They said that would more than likely go away. Uh, things that I've checked, uh, other people getting things done, um, they have the same issues. A little bit of numbness and then it dissipates over time and goes away. Um, I'm hoping to get full range of motion back. Um, so far, I have not lifted on anything because they told me not to lift on anything until I go back for my uh, follow-up, uh, which will be a uh, week after next. Uh, go back and then he's supposed to set me up with a physical therapist uh, to get my full range of motion back. Um, I, uh, I wear the sling from time to time. I, I didn't do the brace um, just because they don't have one that really fits me well, so they put me in a sling. Um, but because I've always had big arms, uh, but uh, I wore the sling for pretty much the first two weeks after I had the surgery. Um, but I've been leaving it off mostly just to let my arm hang because that helps to lengthen that muscle out a little more. And if it gets sore, then I'll put it back up in the sling in the 90 degree position. Um, but uh, I've been doing certain things just to help kind of ease the process. Uh, there the first few days, I'd had no grip strength whatsoever. 
I couldn't even make a full fist. I would get about that far and that would be it. Um, but this is where they did the surgery. If you can see that, they started here and went down my arm. Let me get a little closer. Can you see it there? They did like a little S, but the screw was right in there. Uh, they had to drill through the bone, set an anchor and sew in the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sew in the tendon and screw it into the bone to reattach it. Um, like I said, I'm about three weeks out from surgery. Um, uh, I have no, no no really pain whatsoever unless I do something you know at a weird angle that I, I shouldn't be doing. Uh, if I try to pick something up, I, you know I can of course feel it. Um, but as long as I'm doing like normal everyday everyday things like drinking a pop or you know eating food, something, you know, it, it doesn't really bother me. Um, but if I'm sitting with a tablet in my hand for hours on the day, this it, it'll get sore. Or if I'm on a computer, that'll make my arm sore because uh, that anchor is actually on the other side of the bone right here. And I'm guessing it's irritating the tissues around it. So my elbow is still a little swollen from all that. If you can tell, yeah, right in here, I got a little swelling still, um, but yeah, I don't have, I can't straighten my arm out all the way yet. I still got like maybe a five degree. That's as far as I can extend it. Um, uh, yeah, but I was going to do a measurement and do a, a follow up video later on to see uh, if I have had any muscle atrophy, because that seems to be a thing going on with people that have distal uh, repairs, uh, where you're not able to lift, you lose a lot of muscle mass, and I've worked a lot of years on trying to get my arms as big as they are. So let me measure my left arm first. Oh, this is my, my stronger arm. Uh, this is my stronger arm. This has always been my biggest arm. It's usually about a quarter inch larger than the right. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> so at the flex position, it looks like we have. Uh, can you see that? That's. I'll get that out of the way. It's like 18 and three quarters. Okay. Let's try the right arm where I had the, <clears throat> the bicep rupture. And I can't really flex this one just yet. I mean, I can a little bit, but not much. But I've already lost some muscle mass, it looks like. I'm down to, because I did have 18 and a quarter and I'm already down to 17 and a half and that's just a month out. But like I said, I can't really flex much. I can give it about that much and that's about it. Uh, not doing anything that causes any pain because I don't want to mess this up because I want to continue to be able to lift. Um, that's part of my, my livelihood. I've always been the strong person. Um, I always had a, a big bench press. That was one of my my things. Um, when I before I got hurt, I was benching, you know, upwards of 485 uh, pounds, and I don't know what it's going to be now. I don't know if it's going to affect it because you know they say no pushing, no pulling, any any kind of movements like that where you know you're going to re-rupture that. Uh, I don't want anything like that to happen, so I'm trying to follow the doctor's orders uh, specifically. Because working in the in the mines, uh, you're doing a lot of heavy lifting anyway, and I've got to get back to work. <laughs> um, I work with my hands. That's what I've done all my life. I'm 44 years old. I've worked all my life, and I've always worked, you know, with my hands. Um, but I've mined for 15 years. Uh, massage for five years. Um, 
so I need my hands. Um, but just so y'all know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, if something like this happens to you, just, just know that uh, this can be fixed. Just follow the doctor's orders and um, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.